Constantine says, hey, Robbie and Carrie, I'm using Ubuntu 8.10, and I just found out that almost every software package has a copyright notice. Yes. How come someone has a copyright on open source? Ah. Good question. Well, I can't speak for every piece of software, but I would say in a lot of, like I think of Firefox in particular, um, where their logo is actually a trademark, right? Oh, okay. So, so there may be aspects of, uh, of the software that are not open source per se, mm. that, are, that are actually copywritten. Like uh, you look at like um, free software from Sun Microsystems, right? Where Sun Microsystems is actually a trademark, so that's, you know, that's a copywritten logo or whatever you want to call it, registered trademark. Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> so that part of the software would not be freely, dis you know, it doesn't right. fall under... Uh, open source, so. Okay. <laughs> John Robert just calls it legal mumbo jumbo, but yeah, I, I think that's probably what it is. It's just it's just their brand, probably, or there's certain things within the file. Sometimes also, like you get cool little icons in different applications. Whoever created those icons may have said, "Yeah, you can use this for your project, but it's not it's not uh, open source or it's not licensed under GPL." Maybe there's some other form of licensing there. Uh, or the person who's created it says, I want my copyright to be in place okay. as a form of almost advertising. So there's all different variables, but it doesn't mean that the software is not open source. It just means that there's certain aspects that aren't. Right on. Okay. 